Today, two local high schools look to advance to the championship round of Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. Today, we welcome Andrean and Munster. This semifinal match comes your way next on Making the Grade. Lakeshore Public Media and Making the Grade are supported by Chick-fil-A, proudly serving our Northwest Indiana community, helping to support education and developing young minds. This public service announcement is brought to you by NIPSCO. Hitting an underground utility line while digging may cause serious injuries, disrupt service, and result in a fine. Call 811 two business days in advance of digging to have lines marked. It's the 2016 edition of Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. Hello, I'm your host, Andy Schultz. Thanks for joining us at home or in our live studio audience. Today, eight of the best and brightest students from around Northwest Indiana duke it out academically to try to push into the championship round. That's right, this is a semifinal semi contest in this competition. We welcome these two schools today, Andrean and Munster. Of course, the prize making it to that championship round. Will they have a chance at the Making the Grade Trophy? It's a mouthful today. And, of course, scholarship money provided by NIPSCO. We'll meet our contestants in just a few moments, but we're going to get the game started and get some points on the board right away with our first round that we call Question and Answer. Five points for a correct response. No penalty for an incorrect response here. We'll just give the other team a chance at those points. Buzz in if you think you know the correct answer. Hands on buzzers. Here we go in the game. A section of its Bay Bridge is now named for Willie Brown, the longtime speaker of its state assembly. Name this state where the Bay Bridge connects the cities of Oakland and San Francisco. Daniel from Munster. California. California is correct. And the Mustangs on the board first. We keep it rolling. What moon of Saturn that appears to have an ocean was recently photographed by the NASA probe Cassini from only 30 miles away? <laughs> Tiffany from Munster. Europa? Uh, not Europa. We'll give Andrean a chance at these points. Enceladus. Enceladus, the moon they're looking for. That's all right. No points lost there. We keep it rolling. What word starting with L is both a cruise ship and a hard hit baseball. Eric from Andrean. Liner. Liner is correct, and the Niners are on the board. We are tied. A recent study says that children born more than three weeks premature have a much higher chance of developing this condition that is often treated with two different drugs. Name this breathing disorder in which breathing passages are inflamed. Jacob from Andrean. Asthma. Asthma, yes. Five more points for Andrean. You take your first lead of the game. It puts the note G on the second line of a musical staff. Tony from Munster. The treble clef. Treble clef is correct. There's a lot of question left and you read my mind. Nice job, you even it up. Five more points. He was called Lackland because when his father died, his brother Richard the Lionhearted got all the territory. Name this British monarch said to be the nemesis of Robin Hood who was forced in 2015 to sign the Magna Carta. Daniel from Munster. King John. King John is correct. Five points for Munster. You jump back into the lead. It was part of the nickname of Lyndon Johnson's wife, half of the original nickname of jazz great Charlie Parker, and the entire last name of Bals uh, Jacob from Andrean. Bird. Bird is correct. Looking for Larry Bird and Charlie Parker. All sorts of birds in that question. You're right. Five more points for you. Four years after he won the 1964 Nobel Peace Prize for his campaign against racism, what civil rights leader was assassinated? Tony from Munster. Martin Luther King Jr. That is correct. Five more points for Munster, and you jump into the lead. What halogen, named for the Greek for green, is often used to kill germs in household bathrooms and swimming pools? Tony from Munster. Chlorine. Chlorine is correct. Five more for the Mustangs. In what country? Were women allowed to run for office and vote for the first time in 2015, even though women there still can't drive a car or enter a cemetery? Paul from Andrean. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is correct in the Middle East. Five points for you. You draw within five. Here comes five more your way. 
give the term for an internet idea sent around rapidly on social media? Paul from Andrean. It's viral? Uh, incorrect. Not what we're looking for specifically. Give Munster a chance. Hirsch? Post? Uh, not post. They were looking for meme in the question. Meme. Although I think of crying Michael Jordan when I see that. All right. Just a, it's a kid's joke. You got to see it. All right. If you put all the countries in the world in alphabetical order, which African nation is last on the list? Catherine from Andrean. Zambia. I'm sorry? Um, Zambia. Uh, that's actually incorrect. Munster, want to take a shot? Daniel. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, yes. Tough one there. A couple of Z's there in the continent. Nice job. Five more for Munster. Frederick Bessel used an estimate of this unit to state that 61 Cygni was about 10.3 of these units from Earth. Identify this astronomical unit of distance. Eric from Andrean. A light year. Uh, that is correct. Equal to about three tenths of a parsec. Do the Kessel run just like that. All right. After one round of play, Munster narrowly leads Andrean 30 to 25. Let's meet our contestants. We call it meet the class. Starting on the Andrean side, I'm talking to Paul, who is a sophomore. Paul, great job here in the first round so far. And you told me, you've got a couple years left, but you told me you're looking at two schools right now, yes. Purdue, and then this little community college called Princeton. Tell me about that one. Yes, um, I haven't really decided if I wanted to go into, en into engineering or something in physics. So depending on which one I want to go into, that's the one I'm going to want to It's not a community college, choice. is it? It's in the Ivy League. That's great. Paul, congrats on uh, being here and good luck on that uh, as you trek forward in school. Jacob is a senior. Jacob, you're into sports. You like to watch football, college basketball, and one of your teachers even told me that you were watching the Masters during class when maybe you shouldn't have been doing that. Uh, yeah, that was a big error on my part. I was scolded uh, sharply by our coach, Mr. Zott. I'm but, sure uh, you were, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sport debate is good, especially with Eric here. That's good. Well, we'll talk to Eric about that in a second. Uh, nice to meet both you guys. Eric, a senior at Andrean High School, and said you like to engage in debates with Jacob, specifically about the sports. I would assume Cubs Sox yeah. uh, rivalry here. Yeah, I'm a Cubs fan, or I'm a Sox fan. He's a big Cubs fan, yeah. so All right. and Colts and Packers. So. Good start to the season for both the baseball teams. You can both have something to agree on. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Other teams out there too. Okay. Is it always civil, or do you actually? Oh no, never. No, no. It's good. <laughs> Just try not to let that spill out onto our show. Thanks, guys. Catherine is a sophomore, and uh, Catherine, you like to read, but you also play three different instruments: the clarinet, the piano, and the flute. Which of those three do you think you're the strongest at? Um, probably at this point clarinet, All right. but I like playing piano a lot as How well. How long have you played any of those instruments? Uh, piano since I was seven, and then I picked up clarinet when I was like 12, I think, and then flute when I was 14. Awesome. Very well-rounded group here on the Andrean side. Good luck the rest of the game. Andrean is coached by John Zott. On the Munster side, talking to Hirsch, he was a senior, and uh, you told me you, do your, you spent some of your summers doing research uh, at right. different colleges. What area did you find most fascinating in that time? Uh, well, I mean, I researched one area. I did a lot of molecular biology stuff, so I mean, kind of, I guess that's all I got. Any on. big plans this summer? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to hopefully get a land an internship, but I don't know where yet, but it's on the search. All right. Well, good luck on that. Uh, you. Glad you're here and good luck the rest of the game. Daniel is a senior and uh, you, you told me this is a fun story. You missed a perfect ski ball game by on the last throw. So this is not just like the one with the regular 50 circle. This is the really challenging modern version with the 100s, right? Yeah, the one in the so corner. you had 800 points after eight throws yes, and then you throws. missed on the last one. Yeah, I was so nervous. It just bounced right off. I in was so hard. The most demoralizing way it bounces down to the 10. Yeah. It wasn't like you got a bonus 50 or something. No, not even that. 810, not, not bad. I don't think I've broken 300, so pretty good, Daniel. Glad you're here, and uh, good luck the rest of the game. Thanks. Tiffany is a senior at Munster, and you play the violin, correct? Yeah. How long have you played? Uh, I think since third grade. All right, so quite a while. Do you have any aspirations to keep going on as a professional? I just like playing as a hobby, mostly. Good. That's a good way to do it. No pressure then. Yeah. Awesome. Tiffany, glad you're here and good luck the rest of the game. Tony is a senior at Munster High School as well. And you told me that you're a clumsy guy. Yeah, I've uh, broken my left arm three times. <laughs> That's fascinating. <laughs> three times all on your left arm. How, how did you mm -hmm. do it? Uh, well, the first time I fell off the monkey bars and I broke my radius. And that was last week, right? <laughs> Kindergarten. All right, all right. And then uh, in fifth grade, I my bike rolled off a curb and I broke my wrist. Okay. And then freshman year, I tripped over my friend's feet uh, while playing basketball in gym class and chipped my elbow off. You've got to make up another story like this sounds like you were fighting a bear or fighting, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, just 
But those are all good too. All yeah. right, Tony. No, just giving you a hard time. Congrats <laughs> to the Munster team on making it here. Good luck the rest of the game. Munster is coached by Keith Kozit. <laughs> all right, this semifinal round is rolling. We head to our second round that we call Pop Quiz. This is individual work, a one-on-one -on -one competition. Catherine versus Tony, Tiffany versus Eric, Jacob and Daniel, Hirsch and Paul. We'll go down the row one at a time. After four questions, we'll cycle back to the beginning. All questions and correct responses here are worth five points. The first one for Catherine and Tony, hands on buzzers. Its users often combine a dolphin kick with the lifting of the head. The, sol the shoulders and part of the chest out of the water all at the same time. Name this Olympic swimming stroke, invented as a variation of breaststroke and named for a beautiful insect. Catherine from Andrean. Butterfly. Butterfly is correct. Five points for Andrean. Eric and Tiffany, this is for you. We have a tie game. It's ice sheet that is often nearly two miles thick and covers about 80% of its surface is now thought to have lost about 100 billion tons of ice over the last decade. Eric from Andrean. Antarctica. Uh, it is not Antarctica. I'll finish it for Tiffany. Name this huge northern landmass. Go ahead. Pole. I'm sorry. North Pole. Uh, not the North Pole. We were looking for Greenland. Greenland had to go to the northern hemisphere for that one. Sorry, Eric. Daniel and Jacob, this is for you. Considered the first real Western novel, what Owen Wister novel has a title character from the East who comes to Wyoming and marries a local school teacher? The Virginian, looking for the Virginian. Hirsch and Paul, this one is for you. Philosopher David Hume, Treasure Island author Robert Louis Stevenson, Ivanhoe author Sir Walter Scott, and Auld Lang Syne poet Robert Burns were all born in what country that is part? Paul from Andrean. Uh, Scotland. Scotland is correct. Five points for Andrean. You jump into the lead. We come back to Tony and Catherine. Name the actress whose roles in recent years have included Gru's mother in Despicable Me, the queen in Shrek 2 and Shrek 3, and Queen Clarice Rinaldi in Tony from Munster. Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews is correct. Five more for you. We are tied again. A close game. Tiffany and Eric coming up for you. What novel contains the line, the worst part of holding the memories is not the pain. It's the loneliness of it. Memories need to be shared. The Giver, looking for The Giver, Jacob and Daniel. He was killed by a group of island warriors while losing the Battle of Mactan. Name this explorer, succeeded on his most famous journey by Juan Sebastian Elcano, who was credited with the first circumnavigation of the globe, even though he didn't live to journey's end. Daniel from Munster. Magellan. Magellan is correct. Ferdinand specifically. That is the end of our round after two rounds of play. Munster with a tight five point lead, but many points coming your way here in our third round that we call Class Project. It's group work. You can work together on this one. I will read three clues that all lead to the same answer. If you get it after one clue, it's worth 30 points. After two, it's worth 20. If I read all three clues, it's still worth 10 points. You can chime in at each point level in this game. All right, here we go. The category is social studies. Three clues pointing to one answer. Here's your 30 pointer. Though he ruled for 11 years without parliament in session, he was obliged to deal with short and long parliaments in 1640 because he needed money. Paul from Andrean. Charles I. Charles I is correct. Nice job. 30 points for Andrean, and you skyrocket into the lead here in round three. Three more clues, all pointing to one answer. The category is science and math. Here's your 30 pointer. He developed the concepts of static and dynamic friction and invented the torsion balance. Catherine from Andrean. Newton? Uh, not Newton. Monster, want to take a guess? That's all right, here comes your 20 point clue. The law named for him says that the electric force between two charged objects is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Daniel from Munster. Coulomb. Coulomb is correct, 20 points for the Stangs and you make it a tight one one more time, well done. All right, three more clues in this category, the category is literature and language arts. Like Bambi, this animal character's mother was shot by hunters. Uh, 
Here's your 20 pointer. Unlike Bambi, he met an old lady who hired a private tutor for him and bought him a green suit in a fancy department store. Catherine from Andrean. Paddington Bear? Uh, that is incorrect. Not Paddington Bear. Munster? That's all right. Here comes your 10 point clue. This fictional animal, created by Jean de Brunoff, married his cousin Celeste and became king of the elephants. Tony from Munster. Dumbo? Not Dumbo. Andrean? It was an elephant, though. Babar. Looking for Babar. All right. That is the end of three rounds of play and a tight one indeed. Andrean with a 65 to 60 lead. It's a semifinal match. The winner will take on Valparaiso in our final. We'll find out next time who wins that one. But more important business right now. We're heading to the final exam. Six categories, five questions each worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. We'll answer them in that order. The team that controls the board is the team that last answered correctly, except to start this round. Right now, Munster, you trail by five on the scoreboard. You get to choose where we go first. You see the categories on the board. We'll take the human body for 10. Human body, this is a 10 point clue. This ailment is often treated with medicine that seeks to minimize the damage created by joints that are inflamed all the time. Tony from Munster. Arthritis. Arthritis is correct for 10 points for you. You jump into the lead, stay there or go elsewhere. Uh, stay there. All right, human body, 15. These blood vessels carry oxygenated blood from the heart. Tony from Munster. Arteries. Arteries is correct. 15 more for you. You're quick on the trigger. Where would you like to go? Uh, we'll stay. Staying there. Human body, 20. If you're raising a turkey, give them sunflower seeds as a source of this chemical agent needed for strong eggshells that is also found in human teeth and bones. Catherine from Andrean. Keratin? Uh, not keratin. Munster? Hirsch. Calcium? Calcium, yes. Abbreviated CA. You control the board. 20 more points for you. You're on a roll. We'll take advanced math for 10. Advanced math. Pencils and paper ready for this 10 point clue. The values of X and Y that satisfy the system of equations. Get ready. 3X minus 2Y equals minus 22 and 9X plus Y equals negative 31. Couple more seconds here. Like I say, every show, I'm glad you guys are doing the math. Hirsch is in. Go ahead, Hirsch. Um, okay, so x equals negative four and y equals negative 17. Um, incorrect. Anybody from Andrean? We had just a second or two left. Go ahead, Paul. X equals negative four and y equals five. That is correct, yes. X equals negative four, y equals five. 10 points for Andrean, although you deserve about 200 for that. All right, Andrean, you control the board. Stay there or go elsewhere. Do English class. All right, English class, a 10 point clue. This general literary term describes the time and place of a narrative. Tony from Munster. Setting. Setting is correct. 10 points for the Mustangs. You extend your lead, where would you like to go? Uh, musical instruments. Musical instruments, a 10 point clue there. Hubert Laws and Jean-Pierre Rampal play this woodwind instrument that is balanced by your right thumb so you can play. Catherine from Andrean. The flute. The flute, you play the flute, right? We better get that. 10 points for you, Andre, and you control the board. Do English class. English class, 15 point clue there. Based on a form of calligraphy and named for the country where it was first used in print, this kind of font is often Tony from Munster. Italics. Italics is correct. From Italy, the origin there. 15 for you. Where to? Uh, the human body. Human body, a 25 point clue. From top to bottom, the three parts of this breastbone are the manubrium, the body, and the xiphoid process. Tony from Munster. The sternum. Sternum, yes, 25. You didn't break that, did you? No. All right, good. <laughs> you control the board, Munster. Um, uh, we, the human body. Human body, they're going to finish the clue, a 30 pointer. This hormone with a common three letter abbreviation is produced by the kidney. Daniel from Munster. Acetylcholine. Uh, that is incorrect. I'll finish it for Andrean. Is produced by the kidney, helps form red blood cells in the bone marrow, and has been used by some Olympic athletes as part of a blood doping regimen. Eric. HGH. Uh, not HGH. We're looking for EPO or erythropoietin. I think that's right. Who knows? We'll find out. Munster, you control the board. We have to go somewhere else. Uh, 
Take 1960s. All right, the 1960s, a 10-point clue. In the mid-1960s, U.S. President Lyndon Johnson began food stamps and community action as part of a war on Jacob from Andrean. Poverty. Poverty, yes, 10 points for Andrean, and you trail by 60. Where to? 60s. 60s. 15-point clue. Less than a year after this government organization was created by John Kennedy to help improve education and health worldwide, its first volunteers went overseas in 1961. Paul from Andrean. The Red Cross. Uh, not the Red Cross. Munster? Go ahead, Daniel. CDC. Uh, incorrect. Looking for the Peace Corps. Peace Corps. Andrean, you control the board. 60s. 60s, 420. Signed by Lyndon Johnson in 1965. This Hirsch from Munster. The Voters' Right Act? Uh, yes, we'll take that. Voting Rights Act specifically, but we'll give you the points. 20 of them for you. You control the board. Um, we'll take advanced math. For advanced math, a 15-point clue, pencils and paper ready. The value of the discriminant for the quadratic equation x squared minus 12x plus 21 equals 0. Pencils moving furiously on paper. Gears are spinning. So thankful not to have to do the math myself. Eric from Andrean. 60. 60 is correct. 15 points for Andrean. You guys are quick on those. All right, you trail. Where to? 1960s. 1960s. Back there for 25. America's Cuban Missile Crisis with the Soviet Union occurred in this year when Algeria, Rwanda, and Burundi all became independent. Jacob from Andrean. 1961. Uh, not 1961. Munster. Want to take a shot? Daniel. 1963. Oh, split the difference. 1962. No points awarded there. All right. Andrean. 1960s. Three minutes left to go in the game. The 1960s. We'll finish it up for 30. This Asian city-state that became independent in 1965 is famed for its strict laws against minor crimes like jaywalking. Paul from Andrean. Singapore. Singapore, yes. 30 points for you. You're on a roll. Where to? Down by 35. English. English. 20-point clue. This literary term is defined by the Georgia Department of Education as an autobiographical account of a personal experience. Catherine from Andrean. A memoir. Memoir, yes, for 20. Trail by 10. Where to? 15, pardon. English. English. 25-point clue. This term for any novel, like The Three Musketeers, that first appeared in print one chapter at a time, is used today to describe Catherine from Andrean. A periodical? Uh, not a periodical. I'll finish it for Munster. At a time is used today to describe TV soap operas. Tony from Munster. A novella? Uh, not a novella. We were looking for serial. Serial. Andrean, you're bored. Uh, English. English. 30-pointer. This literary term describes any language that describes things perceivable by the five senses. Catherine from Andrean. Imagery? Imagery, yes. You jump into the lead. 30 pointer. Where to? Latin. Latin, a 10 point clue. Derived from the Latin for knowledge, this subject, once called natural philosophy, typically includes physics, chemistry, and biology. Hirsch from Munster. Science. Science, right? Don't ever think it. That's right. Ten points for you. A tight game. Where to? You trail by five. Uh, we'll take musical instruments. Musical sure. instruments. A 15-point clue. This large stringed instrument covers six and a half octaves, is generally triangular in shape. Tony from Munster. The harp. Harp, yes, for 15 points. Munster in the lead by 10. Where to? Um, One minute left to go in the game. Latin. Latin, 15 point clue. This is the most common meaning of the Latin root log used in the English words. Tony from Munster. Um, study. Uh, that is incorrect. I'll finish it. Used in the English words logic and travelogue. Andrean? Go ahead, Paul. Thought. Thought is correct. 15 points. For you, you're ahead by five. Just seconds left to go. Where to? Advanced math. Advanced math. Advanced math. Uh, advanced. advanced math. Is that right? Yeah. Twenty-point clue. Pencils and paper ready. If the sine of angle x is a right triangle, in a right triangle, is the value of cosine x in square root form. If the sine of angle x in a right triangle is did I give enough information there? That doesn't sound right. I don't believe so. 
I don't think so. This question is, is going to have to be tossed out. Here comes the next clue. It's worth 20 in advanced math. The value of z such that the product of the complex numbers z plus 3i and 6 plus zi is 12 plus 34i. Eric from Andrean. Four. Four is correct. Andrean is your winner today in a very tightly contested contest. Came right down to the wire. Congrats. Munster, great job on a great game here in this one. An awesome semifinal. Andrean will play Valpo in the final, and we'll find out how that goes next time on Making the Grade. Lakeshore Public Media and Making the Grade are supported by Chick-fil-A, proudly serving our Northwest Indiana community, helping to support education and developing young minds. This public service announcement is brought to you by NIPSCO. Hitting an underground utility line while digging may cause serious injuries, disrupt service, and result in a fine. Call 811 two business days in advance of digging to have lines marked.